What up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your guy. Some, some, some. Hit the keys. Here today to do a quick review and demonstration over Narcotic by Lunatic Audio. Um, basically, this is a multi effect plugin that allows you to modulate, mangle, distort, put movement in your sound. Um, it sounds good on anything from synths to any kind of instrument to vocals to a drum bus, whatever it is you want to throw it on. Uh, make sure if you guys like this content, though. You drop a whole elbow on that like button, hit subscribe and that notification bell. So every time we bring you guys a new video, you can be the first to see. But let's go ahead and get right into this review. Some, some, some hit the key. All right, guys. So you can hop on over to audio plugin deals. And they do have a two week free trial on this plugin right now. I would definitely recommend getting that two week trial. If you do decide to upgrade and purchase the plugin, it is $89 through that two week free trial. On the website though, it does sell for 119. So if you were thinking about getting the plugin, I would definitely recommend getting that two week trial first to save yourself some money. Uh, but when you hop into the plugin, it's going to look like this. Um, so it's got all kinds of different controls and different things that you can do. Um, it's got, you know, different effects. It's got a ton of presets. It's got hundreds of presets, like hundreds of presets um, that you can go through and that you can use or whatever it is. You know, you can scroll down, but it's got hundreds of presets for all kinds of different stuff from drums to filter fun, humanize, melodic, um, switchers, static, synth, vocal, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you can favorite um, whatever preset that you like, and it'll go into a favorites folder for you. You can also save presets. And what's good about this saving presets is that if you hit this magic shroom button, um, it randomizes all of everything for you. So everything in the plugin for you. Um, and so then it's got a ton of different effects. So, you know, if I push plus right here, you can stack up up to six effects. And these are all the effects that come with it. So it's got a bunch of different effects from drive to bass cabinet, Leslie, lo-fi modulator. Um, just a bunch of different stuff, trip, toxin, stutter, steroids. It's got all kinds of different stuff to change and mangle your sound. Um, and what's cool about that as well is that when you go through each level, it has different um, effects that you can affect and put a sequencer on those as well. So each one of the plugins has different um, effects that go in essence inside of an effect, whether it's a cutoff, EQ, gain, whatever it is. And then there's a couple of different presets in each of them as well. So all of these will have different presets. So if I click on delay, you see it'll have different uh, presets than the pitch drift did, so on and so forth. Uh, so let me go ahead and play this little sample beat that I made real quick. Um, on the sample beat, I have narcotic on everything. So you can see up here, it's not, it's saying it's, it's CPU intensive, but I wouldn't say that it's too CPU intensive. I just have like eight instances of the plugin on all my sounds. Um, so here's a little sample, little beat I made, of course, it's not mixed down. Uh, but let's go ahead and check it out real quick. So basically I have this plugin on everything and it basically changed up the whole entire way that the beat sounds. Uh, so I'm going to start off by just playing it on the vocal melody. Um, and then I'm just going to work my way down so you can hear it on some other things. And I can show you kind of some of the stuff that you can do with this plugin. That's pretty nice. So this vocal melody without narcotic on it, um, basically sounds like this. Tell me what you want me to say. You can go crazy, go wild. I can shout it out loud or say it low. All right, so now once we throw narcotic on it, um, it's going to sound like this. Tell me what you want me to say. You can go crazy, go wild. I can shout it out loud or say it low, low, low. 
So it's doing all kinds of different stuff with the plugin. Um, and then what you can also do is like it's got a bunch of different um, presets for vocals and for melodic stuff like that as well. Um, so you can go into any of those. Let's go ahead and go into vocal real quick. And let's just uh, pick one of these. We'll just go with this one right here. Um, so now let's hear what it sounds like. Tell me what you want to say. You can go crazy for a while. And shout out loud. Say hello. So that's pretty nice little gating effect and everything that has going on there. Um, you can mess with the mix level too, obviously. Um, so we'll go ahead and add some mix in so you can just hear what it sounds like. Tell me what you want me to say. You can go crazy for a while. And shout out loud. Say hello. And so then you can also move this around here. So it has an X, Y axis. Um, and with a lot of these, if I turn this on, um, you see how it's going crazy. So now it's going to sound different. Tell me what you want to say. You can go crazy for a while. And you can use the sequencer to make it do whatever it is that you want it to do. Um, and with this as well, with these effects up here, you can also hit this randomize button and it'll randomize the order in which the effects are in. So it'll give it a different sound. So tell me what you want to say. You can go crazy for a while. And shout it. Um, you can also use this X, Y axis and you can put it wherever you want here and it'll change the way that it sounds. Tell me what you want me to say. You can go crazy, go wild. I can shout it out loud. Or say it loud. Tell me what you want me to say. You can go crazy, go wild. I can shout it out loud. Or say it loud. So you can do all kinds of different stuff to change up the sound of your vocals and put some extra sauce on those vocal chops or whatever it is that you're doing. Um, next, I'm going to go ahead and pull up a different instance of Narcotic. Um, and I have it right here on uh, this electric piano. Um, so let's go ahead and um, move this over real quick. And we're just going to go ahead and play it on this electric piano so you can kind of hear what it's doing on that. Um, so this is what the piano sounds like without the Narcotic on there. So pretty basic, uh, but now once we throw Narcotic on here, um, this is what it's going to sound like. So again, what's nice about this plugin is that you can tap this, this magic shroom button right here, um, and then boom, it's going to change the way that it sounds. It's going to totally randomize everything. And every time you randomize it, it's going to give it a different noise. So if you like it, you can just click that heart button and boom, it'll save it into your um, randomized. So it'll save it into a bust. It'll put it in your favorites, but um, it'll also give you shroom magic right here um, if, we, if you save it. So if I push, you know, the save button, um, now it will save that into that shroom magic. So each one of the presets has its own sequencer. And so you can basically change up the sequencer of all of each of the different effects. So if you don't like the way that it's being sequenced, you can put it on. They're not always on when you start. So sometimes, you know, you can just draw what you want to, um, and, you know, and give it a, that different, that different sound. All right. So now let's go over some of the controls here at the bottom. So when you're looking at the bottom, what I really love about this plugin too, is that it tells you what everything is. So you can come, you know, to the box and it'll basically tell you what it does, like allows you to shift the patterns and the step sequencers, so on and so forth. Um, so basically you have your input, your output, um, your gate, your floor, this humanizes it. Um, so it basically um, makes the step sequencer sound more human and not so robotic. Um, then you have depth, you have floor, you have gate, you have phase, you have your mix knob right here, shape and speed. All right, so let's go over some of the control on the main screen. So on the main screen, um, some of the presets have sequences set up, some do not. Um, if you hit this little button right here, um, it'll bring down more options. So like, let's say I paint a design in here like this, uh, and now it sounds like you have to turn it on, and now it sounds like this. All right, so I can do things like mess with the shape, 
And as you can see, the shape automatically changes on there. I can mess with the phase. Um, so it'll move it over. Um, I can mess with the gating. Um, I can mess with the floor so I can change the, the size of the gate. Um, and then I can humanize it as well. Um, and then another thing that I can do is I can shuffle the steps so I can randomize them. Um, I can reverse the steps. So if I hit that, boom, it just puts them backwards. Um, and then you can invert the values as well. So this is what it sounds like. So that's pretty nice as well. Then I could turn on the bottom as well. And so I get the Y and X axis going at the same time. So that's pretty fire as well. All right, so next I'm gonna play it on a different sound. Um, so basically this sound that I had in the beat sounded like this. So now once I put narcotic on there, it's gonna sound like this. So completely different. I used it on the 808 as well. Um, so the 808 basically sounds like this without narcotic on there. And you can see it's pretty low, but I just threw narcotic on there and it pushed it forward like this. So you can see how much it added to the 808. Um, and so like, we'll mess with this for a little bit. It's got a bunch of different bass settings and things that you can mess with on this. Um, so let's go ahead and go to a different bass setting. Um, so let's go ahead and go to bass eater. So it's got a bunch of different presets and a bunch of different things that you can do to pump up the bass. Um, so that's nice as well. So the last thing I'm gonna show you guys is it on some drums. Um, so basically on these drums, um, the drums sound like this. So then once I throw narcotic on the drums, they're gonna sound like this. Let's go ahead and get into the boom room. The boom room. Bro, that's so fire. That's so fire. Um, let's go ahead and mess with a couple more. So that's basically what it sounds like on some drums. And I lied. I'm going to show it to you guys in one more thing. Um, I have this synth um, and it's just a super basic pattern, but I'd be remiss if I didn't show you guys on a synth because I know this is really good for like EDM and music that I don't really make. Um, but I definitely wanted to demonstrate something for you guys so that you guys can kind of get a feel of it. So don't clown this pattern because again, it's just a basic pattern, but it sounds like this. And so now once I throw narcotic on there, one of the presets that I like, so you might get this screen too. Uh, I'm glad this popped up. So if it's like this, all you're gonna have to do is hit detached. And then once you hit detach, it is vectoral. I should have showed you guys this at the beginning. So with this too, you can make it go vectoral the long way, or you can make it go, you know, like this. You can make it go vectoral however you want it to go. Um, so that's this very solid uh, feature of the plugin as well. Uh, let me go ahead and get this back into its place. Um, and so 
one of the the presets groupings that I like the most are these evolve ones because it's like it evolves as it keeps playing through. So again, I'll play that pad for you guys just one more time so you can hear what it sounds like. It sounded like this. All right, so now once you grab it and you throw it on there, it's gonna sound like this. So that's dope. That's like minimal effort that you have to put into it in order to, uh, you know, get an evolving uh, synth there. So I'll go through a couple more of these um, and see what they sound like. And then again, as you move it around on the X, Y axis, it's going to change the way that it sounds. So that's pretty fire. We'll play another one. So I would definitely say that this is a very, very solid little plugin. Um, I probably didn't even do it justice in this demonstration uh, because you can do so much with this plugin. You can do stack so many different effects. Um, you can add so much movement. You can mangle your sound. You can do all kinds of stuff that you didn't think that you needed to do until you was doing it. Um, so I would definitely recommend getting on over to audio plugin deals and at least downloading the two week trial um, because it might be something that you want. Um, it might be something that you didn't even know you needed until you grabbed it. Um, again, this is not a sponsored video. Um, Lunatic Audio did not hit me up to do this review. Um, I just stumbled across this plugin. I thought I'd scoop it up and then I thought that I'd give you guys a review and let you guys know what I think. Um, and what I think is that this is pretty fire. So, all right, guys and gals, thanks for watching the video. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe and like button. Uh, make sure you hit that notification bell so every time a new video comes out, you can be the first to know. Uh, let me know what tutorials you want to see next in the comments and see you next time. Some, some, some hit the key.